Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 5.15 p.m., and it's Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing another one of these liquid death drinks. Um, this one is a flavored one. Um, so yeah, they had, um, three flavored ones, and I got all three at the Whole Foods grocery store. Um, these ones were $2.49, so I guess it was okay priced. Um, a little bit expensive, you know, for, like, a water, but, um, anyway. Um, this one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Bury It Alive Liquid Death Sparkling Water. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Really cool looking can. So, oh yeah. Has a gold top with a gold tab. Bombs of Best Buy Dayton Production Code. Best Buy November 18th, 2024. So it's still fresh for a while. It says Liquid Death, Bury It Alive, flavored sparkling water. It shows their Liquid Death logo. It looks like a melting skull. Um, I guess he's like liquid, you know, because it's Liquid Death. Um, but yeah, 19.2 fluid ounces, 568 milliliters, Murder Your Thirst. Has the same thing on this side. It has SKU, the ball logo, and some other codes, Recycle or Die. Average aluminum can contains 70% recycled material. Average plastic ball contains only 3% as a recycling logo. This side it says, This ruthless tall boy of flavored sparkling water has a twisted plan to use natural agave and exploding bubbles to murder your thirst and then recycle your soul. Contains 0% juice nutrition facts. So organized as one can, 568 milliliters. Not for certain calories, 20. Total fat, 0 grams, 0%. Sodium, 10 milligrams, 0%. Total carbohydrates, 4 grams, 1%. Total sugars, 4 grams, includes 4 grams. Added sugars, 8%. Protein, 0 grams, 0%. Other ingredients, carbonated water, agave, nectar, citric acid, natural flavor, passion fruit, and raspberry, blackberry, and hibiscus, and black cherry. Manufactured for liquid death, mountain water, Los Angeles, California, 90066. Hashtag death to plastic. We donate a portion of this profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Has this key, and I mean, not this key, a QR code. Probably takes you to their website, and it shows like a hat, a shirt, and like a skull. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. Not a whole lot of stuff on it, you know, just saying. But anyway, I'll let you see it real quick. Bury it alive. Yeah, I found out they're also coming out with a new watermelon flavored one. But I don't know when that one will be out at the stores. There's also three new tea ones, but um, they didn't have those either. The other codes in this KU. A little bit hard to see. Has the same thing on this side. And then this side has the nutrition pack side. QR code. Yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so now I'm gonna show off the can up closer real quick, so hold on a minute. The Bury It Alive Liquid Death Sparkling Water. Really cool looking can. Very reflective and chrome. Very metal, you know. Gold top, gold tab. Best Buy. November 16th, 2024, so it's still fresh for a while. Shows the skull logo. Looks like it's melting. Murder your thirst. Has the same thing on this side. Then this side's the ball logo and stuff in this KU. Recycling stuff. On this side. So nutrition packs and stuff. Other ingredients, distributor information, QR code. That's pretty much the entire can, so now I'm going to finish my review, so hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the can up close. I'm going to shake it up a teeny bit, open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Actually, I actually probably don't want to shake it up too much, yeah, because it's a sparkling water, so yeah. But, um, yeah, these were $2.49, but, um, 
The Mountain Water one that I reviewed yesterday is two nineteen, so it's a little bit cheaper. I guess cause since it wasn't like a flavored one, it was just like normal water. But yeah, I opened it inside the can is like a clear liquid. Um, a little bit hard to tell though because the gold top can. Um, but it looks just like normal water, you know, sparkling water. It's a little bit carbonated, but not too carbonated. So yeah. Anyway, the scent. Ooh, whoa, 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 yep, definitely berry. Nice, sweet, um, mixed berry scent. Ooh, whoa. Definitely smell the cherry. Um, yeah, it says it's, um, well, it says it's passion fruit, raspberry, and blackberry. Hibiscus and black cherry. Yeah, definitely smell the cherry, but, um, not really for sure about the passion fruit. Or like um the blackberry. Mostly just smell the cherry and maybe a little bit of the raspberry. Um, but I mostly smell the cherry though. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a nice fruity sweet scent. Nice sweet like a wild cherry or like a candy cherry, not like a it says it's a black cherry, but um doesn't really smell like other black cherry drinks that I've had before. It's just like a normal cherry. Um, but yeah, it actually smells pretty good. But um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it. So here it goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> really sweet, very fruity, a little tart. Um, but yep, it has a nice sweet cherry flavor. That's what uh, I'm mostly tasting anyway. Ooh. And the aftertaste, it reminded me a little bit of like um, some cherry medicine. Um, there's like some some like cherry medicine that was like for like um diarrhea and stuff. Um, it reminds me of that. It's like a aftertaste like a medicine cherry. Um, but yeah, it tastes like a sweet cherry at first though. <clears throat> yep, definitely really cherry. Um, yeah, I don't really taste the passion fruit, and yeah, I don't really taste the hibiscus. Um, or the, I might taste the blackberry a little bit, but um, yeah, it's mostly cherry and raspberry, so yeah. Definitely a nice sweet berry flavor. Um, has a cool can design, it's um, really chrome though. Um, it stands out though. Uh, I guess it's okay priced, it was like um, $2.49 at Whole Foods. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to find this or not. Um, but yeah, it's okay priced, has a cool can design, and yeah, definitely highly recommend it. It's a little tart though, but really sweet. Um, some people don't really like sparkling waters, but I like sparkling waters. Um, they're okay, they're um, actually pretty healthy too though. Um, they're not like a soda or anything, so they don't really have like a lot of calories and like a lot of sugar in it. Doesn't have any like artificial sweetener in it either. So yeah, it's actually pretty good. So yeah, definitely try it. Definitely very hydrating, especially drinking ice cold on a hot day, you know. Very refreshing. Um, but yeah, if you drink the whole can, you'll probably need to use the bathroom, you know, just saying. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, definitely actually like it better than the one I had yesterday. Um, because yeah, it's a flavored one, not just like, you know, normal water. Um, but yeah, definitely highly recommend it. Um, if it didn't really have that, um, like medicine-y, like cherry aftertaste, it'd probably be better. And, um, I wish I could taste the passion fruit in it, and also... Uh, maybe the hibiscus and the blackberry a little bit more, but yeah, it's mostly just cherry. Um, but yeah, it's like a candy cherry at first, but um, yeah, then it gets like a medicine cherry taste. And yeah, I wish I could taste the raspberry a little bit more. I could smell the raspberry, but I couldn't really taste the raspberry, so yeah. Um, so yeah, still definitely highly recommend it. I'd probably give the berry it a live liquid death, like I'm um, sparkling water. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah. Has a really cool can design, it tastes good, it's okay priced. It could be a little bit cheaper, but um, yeah, I got it at Whole Foods and their stuff's, you know, expensive, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper, um, like a lot of Walmart or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, definitely be on the lookout for it, it's pretty good, so yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway, my next review, I'm going to be reviewing, I think the, um, I think the mango one of these, or the lime one. Not really for sure which one, so anyways, I'm going to review some more videos, thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace out. And bye.